Hi, kids. Number 28, greatest films of all time, Dr. Strangelove, or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb, directed by Stanley Kubrick. This is the second Kubrick on the list so far. Uh, the last one was also a bit of a satire. As I mentioned in that video, uh, Kubrick has a sense of humor if you're paying attention. So this one stars uh, Peter Sellers, George C. Scott, Sterling Hayden, and one of my favorite Hollywood names, Slim Pickens. Uh, so it's uh, based on the novel Red Alert uh, by Peter George. Uh, Peter George uh, was British. Um, he served um, the Royal in the Royal Air Force in World War II, and then guess what? He wrote novels. Um, and then in uh, 1966, um, he I believe stuck a shotgun in his mouth and committed suicide. So happy ending there. Uh, that was in 66. This film came out in 64. Uh, Kubrick was wanting to do a film around the Cold War, started doing research on the Cold War. Someone recommended to him that he should read Red Alert, which he did. He liked it, and he bought the rights to it. He bought the rights to it. Come back to that. Um, so uh, he's writing the screenplay, and uh, some of the situations, um, he's having trouble navigating uh, around some of the inherent comedy of the situations, and he decides, let's not navigate around it. Uh, let's lean in to it. So he hires Terry Southern to come in and basically just punch up the script. So Terry Southern comes in to work on the comedy part of the screenplay. Uh, Terry Southern, interesting character, uh, also served in World War II. He was American. Uh, I think he was a detonation technician. That's fun to say for me. Um, uh, part of the Cafe Society in France, um, Greenwich Village scene in New York. Um, I think he had a degree in philosophy. Uh, he would go on to work with Peter Sellers in The Magic Christian. And he also, I believe, uh, came up with some of the bits for Peter Sellers in Black Panther. Uh, he's also credited with working on things like the Cincinnati Kid, uh, Casino Riot Royale, the 1967 uh, sort of Bond spoof version of Casino Royale, uh, Barbarella, Easy Rider. Anyways, so during production, um, there is a, another film being produced uh, that is very similar uh, called Failsafe. Now, Failsafe, based on a novel called Failsafe, and um, Peter George had sued um, the writer of Failsafe for copyright infringement and settled out of court. So Kubrick was worried about Failsafe coming out uh, and kind of stealing the thunder of Dr. Strangelove, especially if it's released first. And because uh, Failsafe, the film version, was being directed by Sidney Lumet, uh, and starring Henry Fonda. So the team of 12 Angry Men. So respectable, well-known director, uh, respectable, respected, well-known actor. He had reason to be concerned, but uh, George or Peter George had settled out of court for copyright infringement. So um, Kubrick realizes that, hey, I kind of have the rights to that too, because I bought the rights to Red Alert. So uh, Failsafe was an independent production. Um, Columbia Pictures was the studio behind Dr. Strangelove. So what happens is Columbia Pictures decides that we will come in and we will help finance Failsafe uh, instead of stopping you from production on the condition that um, it comes out after Dr. Strangelove. So Dr. Strangelove comes out in January of 64. Failsafe doesn't come out until October of 64. So it gives plenty of time. Um, by the way, there were some changes and some edits made to Dr. Strangelove uh, because in November of 63, 
is the Kennedy assassination. So there were some lines in there that are changed. Uh, having fun in Dallas is changed to having fun in Vegas. Things along that nature. So uh, Dr. Strangelove is number 28 on this list because uh, AFI 98 list, 100 Greatest American Films, it was number 26. In their 2007 list, it is number 39 on IMDb. According to your ratings and rankings of films, it is number 68 on Metacritic. According to the critics' ratings of films, it is number 34. And in the British Film Institute, uh, in 2002, it was number 5 on the list. Um, but it has not been in the top 100 since then. So appeared briefly at five and then just disappeared out of the top 100. It is number 28 on this list. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe.